vertical edging is that you can go all the way around on two points on the top and at the bottom of the neck. Um, arms can go forward and back. On the ever famous revoltic joint, you can also go in and out. Bends at the elbow, rotates the elbow, rotates the wrist, goes and has this articulation as well. You can rotate at the upper part of the uh, on the torso here. So it also has a diaphragm joint. I can go forward and back, in and out when angled the right way. Bends at the knee, rotate all the way around pivot side to side and go up and down and since the his cape is also connected on a revoltech joint on his back you can also go in and out um, kind of rotate a little only hindered by this part here and has ball joints on either side on these on these sides and we have articulation there as well for for accessories as I told you earlier he's got tons I mean look at this He's got many, many accessories. Um, he's got four extra hands, the um, grapple gun, and the um, batarang. Small batarang. See, they properly. And I'll just show you. Um, comes with the stand. I mean, the base is separate from the stand. The stand is just this long. Um, shall we call it stick? I don't know. Uh, that has revoltech joints. Um, one here, two points here, and one here. So you can connect this bottom part on this here, on this part of the stand, and you've got yourself um, a piece, which or a stand that can help your batman stand firmly on the base if you ever wanted it so and and below here below his feet still so detailed i forgot to mention earlier you've got their holes you've got here a peg which you can, so you can peg it in here which doesn't do it's hard to do so like so peg his foot in there you can stand like that, or you could just could just peg this part here on the hole at the back of at the back of Batman. So you can just peg it in there, so it can support Batman while standing, like so. And the peg on the base also has another use. If you don't want to peg Batman's foot on the base, you can just peg this plaque here, which says Batman the Dark Knight, made in the year 2008. Got a hole there. Just peg it in here. Like so. And there I've got a gorgeous stand with a plaque that says Batman the Dark Knight 2008. And for, for the other accessories, we've got here a hand with a slit, so you could put his batarang inside there. Like so, you can replace his one hand with this. So it can be shown holding his batarang. He's got another hand right here, which can hold his grappling gun like so. You can, you can replace his other hand for that. The joints just suddenly popped out, also. So, push it back in and put in the gun hand, I would like to call it, um, like so. Can pose him holding his um, grappling gun. 
And his grapple gun can also be hooked at the back of his um, utility belt, as I shown earlier. So really well, well made figure by Revoltec. We've got a pair here of open palm hands, which can be used for his maybe his flight poses or um, when he's on a relaxed pose. But I prefer the fists more. And uh, he's also got this alternate head, um, alternate Christian Bale head or Bruce Wayne head. She can also be replaced for this masked head. And you got here a plastic coin which says 10 Revoltec points. As you can see there. Maybe you could trade this for other goodies for um, Revoltec. And this may be used as a case for these points from their figures. So for skills we've got Batman next to the Frost Giant and War Machine from the Iron Man 2 six in six inch figures. So like you see as you can see here he's a little bit short than um, the six inch war machine so maybe he's a five or five and a half and here he is, he is beside a 3 and 3 quarter figure. So for my final thoughts of this figure, I say get him. If you get a chance to see him, get him. Because it's like buying a Hot Toys figure um, on a cheaper price and a smaller scale. So it, and it has a lot of possibility. The sculpting here and detailing is also good. So he is worth your money. I bought this at our toys where FX friends, the other reviewer um, on YouTube um, buys his figures when he doesn't buy from retail. So for all my fellow Filipinos, um, if you get a chance to visit our toys there right now, they're they are having a anniversary sale. So so they're fig the figures they are selling have. Um, a maximum of 50% off the value so to all those who visit and buy at Green Hills Art Toys in the Philippines go now because they're having an anniversary sale so to my foreign subscribers and um, um, viewers um, if you get a chance to see him as, as I said earlier get him because he is a fantastic epic figure so Thanks again for watching my review. Stay tuned for more views and videos from eSatis Vids. This is me.